You need to hear what I'm saying to you, Lucky Spencer. I don't want to find a way to work this out. We can't change who we are. Are you gonna go back to Ireland or what? Might. Despite the danger? <laughs> I'm in danger here. I'm in danger wherever I go. But the last place I want to be is in some godforsaken American town freezing in the dead of winter with a cop who's got two kids to raise who wants to work things out so we can settle down. I never said that to you. Ever. You want me to give you something that I don't have? You want me to care about you the same way that you care about me, and I don't. So the best thing for both of us is to just end this now before someone gets seriously hurt. That's why I'm leaving. And you can't stop me. Anybody home? Hello? Oh, no, we, we can't have a situation. Hi, um... Claire Walsh, this is Claire Walsh, my fiance, Brenda Barrett. Hi, Hi nice to meet you. Well, I'm on my way out, so I think we're done here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Dante has confirmed that Jerry Jacks and Alexander Yanichek are not related. So, Jerry's not the Balkan? Uh, Jerry's probably not even dead. So, the Balkan's still a threat? Which means your wedding can't happen. I don't know what Brenda told you. Was I not clear? She killed a man in 2007. You were an accessory after the fact. If she gets hysterical and falls apart on the stand, she implicates both of you for capital murder. Look, it was self-defense. <laughs> Two killings and self-defense in less than five years. <laughs> Two dead men. Two alleys, and you and Ms. Barrett, the only witnesses, I don't believe even I could sell that to a jury. Look, Alexander Yanichek was a punk, okay? He was a, he was a spoiled brat. He spent all his daddy's money pretending he ran the syndicate himself. He treated Brenda like she was a possession, like a car, a watch, something he could use. Mm. She accepted his advances, didn't she? Yeah, sure, for a while she went out with him, then she found out who he was and she dumped him. He didn't take no for an answer. He followed her to New York. He trapped her in, a, in an alleyway. He figured if he couldn't have her, no one else could. I tried to stop him. Mm. And lost control of your sidearm. Yeah. Pretty we, sloppy mistake. Right, okay, yeah. Alexander, he was a big guy. He was choking me. I almost blacked out. The next thing I know, I hear a shot. I look over. Brenda's holding my gun. She killed him to save my life. Hey. Hi. Glad you're here. Well. Well, uh, DNA evidence proves that Jerry is not the Balkan, so we're back to square one. Okay. And the cops raided Vaughn's. No. Yeah, Abby got hauled in for solicitation, and Michael was at the PCPD, and he saw Abby get brought in. Wait a minute, why? She's not a hooker. Arresting officer. Ronnie Domestico. Yeah? He said something to set Michael off. Uh-oh, no, 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 he didn't hit a cop, no, did no, he? No, no, Dante didn't let it get that far, but if Abby gets holding again, Michael loses it. <sighs> He's going to go back to prison. Jason, this was never supposed to happen. I know. I know, and I know that Michael likes Abby, and he swears to me that she's helping him, but he cannot get into any more trouble. <sighs> Abby. Hey. Jeez, I was getting worried. I was calling and texting you. I didn't hear back from you at all. No, Things I just... Needed some time, you know, to, uh, think. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I just, I just want to make sure you're doing okay. No, I appreciate you trying to help, you know? You're such a nice kid. 
I mean, past me being a nice kid. Well, I, I appreciated, you know, the way you stood up for me with your brother. He seems like a decent cop. Yeah, he is. Unlike Ryan Domestico. Just, you can't believe he brought you in like that. You're not like them at all. Not a hooker. What makes you so sure? Were you aware that Brenda Barrett murdered my son with her own delicate hands? How could I know that? First she shot Alexander. Then Falcon Harry dumped him in a swamp like an animal. I'm very sorry. Did they really believe no one would care? That no one would come looking? They'll pay for what they did. And soon, I'll have my revenge. I'm afraid that you'll be having it without me. You know, I can see how Abby's good for Michael. He's he's talking. He's more confident. He uh, actually seems hopeful about his future for the first time since Bentonville. His face lights up when he talks about her. I know. I know. She listens to him. She accepts him. And I understand how important that is because it's what you do for me. But the closer Michael gets to Abby, the more volatile he's going to be if somebody's harassing her. Okay, well then, maybe you should talk to him. Uh, I try it. I mean, uh, he says he understands, but his understanding didn't stop him from almost hitting a cop today. Jason, it's me. You gotta open up the door. We have to talk about Michael. Abby was arrested for prostitution today. Do you know how bad that is for Michael? I know you're not a hooker because you told me you weren't. But you got mad when I offered you money. It's because you're so sweet, I didn't want to throw it in your face. You're not a hooker, Abby. Look, Sam called me for that first date because she knows I'm a pro. I'm discreet. You know she knew it'd be nice to you no matter what happened. No, you, you know, you're, you're dancing because you're paying your way through school. That's I'm stripping, like... Michael. Then yeah, you go inside that place in your head where nothing matters. You can't feel anything. Yeah, well, that place works for turning tricks, too. You know, a club is just a way to advertise. Believe me, sex pays a lot more money than just taking my clothes off for strangers. No, you're a dancer, you're not a hooker. I'm a prostitute. Yeah, everything, uh... I mean, everything was fine earlier today, and, you know, I thought Siobhan and I were gonna go to the Foxwood Lodge for the night. Foxwood? Pulling out all the stops, huh? Yeah, well, she didn't think so. I don't know, it's just... It, the whole thing was weird. Something about it just doesn't feel right. I mean, it's literally like one minute we're fine and the next minute she's she's walking away. Maybe she felt crowded? You know, I've been doing everything in my power to avoid that. I think something's going on that she's not telling me. Look, he broke up with me. Change his mind. Well, he'll get even more suspicious if I come crawling back. It's not in my nature, and he knows it. I can't help you anymore. You'll reconcile with Lucky. You'll be at that wedding. And you'll continue to do whatever I want. I'm telling you, I can't. The man wants nothing more to... Answer it. Hello? <laughs> Megan? Siobhan, please help me, please. Where are you? <laughs> I don't know, it's dark. Megan, I promise. Uh, I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Just hold on, I'll help you. I'm scared, I don't know what they'll do to me. <laughs> hold on, I'll help you. My sister never did anything to you. She doesn't even know you. She has nothing to do with anything. Let her go. That's up to you.
What do you want? Help me make sure this wedding never happens. We're gonna be together for the rest of our lives. If we wait a week, a month for the wedding, I don't see that as being a big deal. Yeah, but the longer we wait, then, you know, that's a better chance of something happening. I'm not backing out on yeah, you. Yeah, but something's gonna go wrong. Isn't that what always happens? There's a lot of risk in my business. It, it comes with, with what I do. Exactly, I mean, that's a perfect point. So, so it's, it's risky, it's already risky. So, what's the point of waiting? I mean, I've waited for you my whole life. Yes. I don't wanna wait anymore. But the wedding is a perfect opportunity for the Balkan to come after you. I don't you. care. I'm huh? running and hiding and miserable my whole life. I, I don't. I don't want to be afraid. I. Don't, I just. I don't want to live my life in fear. You have to. We got to deal with reality, though. Well, my reality is that I don't want to be with you. I want to marry you. You're mine. I don't want to argue about this, you know that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're going to get married on February 18th, then? Mm-hmm.